hello everyone how are you all welcome back to new video on my channel today we are back again with white out survival in this video i want to talk something on the developers feedback just one day ago i made a video on the recent developer feedback i gave my reaction on the developer feedback because this month we had a very small developer feedback almost no suggestion no answer on this by the way i do not wanted to insult the developers i never mean to insult the developers i know they are doing some hard work they are trying to make the game good they are trying to make the game balanced so i will never insult them but if they do anything wrong i mean if i do not like their work i have right to criticize them of course i will do that as a creator right so in this video i want to show you what developers should do in this month in this update because in the suggestion list i found many good suggestion but developers pick such a suggestion which makes actually no sense i'm not insulting them but it is right there was nothing in that developer feedback so today i want to show you something in the suggestion list i shortlisted some suggestions i want to show you guys this thing and hopefully developers will also watch my video and they will think something on the new suggestions which i am going to show them in this video so let's jump in our video before showing the suggestions from the suggestion list i want to show what is the developer feedback of october so let's see here first one double time chief order and k finance builders aid skill have different cooldowns please change both to 23 hours so you can use them simultaneously okay that can be some good thing but it is not i mean how i will say uh, he is telling to make both of them 23 hours right now my question is who use the builders aid and the chief order in every 23 or 24 hours even pay to win players do not use construction like every 24 hours right so what is the meaning of this suggestion what is the meaning of this update no one will use them in every 23 24 hours so it actually makes no sense what i was uh, talking in my last video uh, you can do this thing you can do this update it is something good but it is not very helpful okay it is not a solution of any big problem and developers picked this one so i have no idea why they picked this one and what is the answer from them that is a great idea of course it is a great idea i know but it is not a very important thing so the next thing is we will shorten the cooldown of double time to 23 hours in an upcoming update to make sure it is consistent with k finance skill okay i understand they want to make consistent and both of them cool down with 23 hours i understand but my question is is it that much important no I, I don't think it is very much important right so let's check the next suggestion why cannot i capture pets when i am not a member of any alliance please optimize it so the answer is thank you for your suggestions we will make the pets obtainable for players who are not inside an alliance in a, an upcoming update okay i understand the problem so if you are outside the alliance you cannot capture the pet i understand the problem i also understand the solution from the developers now my question is is it really a big problem why you are trying to capture a pet outside from an alliance go to any alliance then capture the pet right is it any big problem it is not any big problem developers speak just some useless suggestion okay i'm not insulting this guy who suggested this developers speak some useless suggestion and they are trying to make some useless solution of this the suggestion and the solution both are definitely useless i mean okay that is a issue i understand if you are outside any alliance you cannot capture the pet that is really some issue but why picking such a small issue there are many big issue in the game you are ignoring the big issue and you are picking some useless small issue i'm not uh, agree with this i'm not uh, i'm not with this thing let's check the next one i had an underwhelming experience in the frost dragon tyrant event as there were too many participating alliance okay understand this one thanks for your feedback we are working on optimizing zone grouping if there are too many states within a zone we will adjust the grouping to improve players experience okay understand this one but again my question is it so much important to put it in developer feedback there are many big issue many important issue and developers are not mentioning them in the developer feedback they are picking some nonsense things in the developer feedback and putting here i understand this is some issue it is really some problem if there are many alliance in a same zone that is actually a problem but why you are putting this thing in developer feedback 
just put the major issue in the game they are, they are not putting the major issue in the game what is the problem with this and what is the next question when is the next state transfer obviously it is the most useless question i am seeing today and i know what is the nonsense answer is coming from the developers that is next state transfer is expected to kick off in early november so why you want to know the state transfer what you will do with the state transfer this state transfer is not an event it has no proper schedule so why in every developer feedback some nonsense ask this question and developers give the same answer we have no perfect schedule like this it is coming in early november or early whatever so in every developer feedback in the last question this nonsense question with this nonsense answer so this developer feedback just started here and it ended here bhai ye to shuru hote khatam ho gaya yaar there was not any big issue there was not any important issue some nonsense ideas with some nonsense feedback so i am not insulting the developers listen developers if you are watching my video i am not insulting you i just want to say you should pick some big issue in the game which is actually a problem and you should find the solution but no you are ignoring all of them and you are picking some useless suggestions and who is this guy i want to know who is this guy who just asked this question that why i cannot capture pet when i am not member of alliance my question is why you are trying to capture any pet first of all when you are outside an alliance join any alliance then capture the pet ha huh? it is really some nonsense thing i don't understand this thing simply join any alliance and then capture the pet but no you are asking in the asking here why i cannot capture a pet developers if you are watching my video i am not uh, rude here i am not uh, insulting anyone i am just trying to put the major issues of the game and this month developer feedback there was actually nothing there was actually no big problem no suggestion now i want to show something in this month i shortlisted many suggestions from many players uh from the suggestion list i want to show you the suggestions if you are watching my video please consider those suggestions all of them are not my suggestion i saw suggestions from different people so in this video i'm going to show them so here we are getting a suggestion his name is haitham and he is talking about some suggestion okay i'm not hiding the name so he is suggesting that healing is an essential part of the game especially in sbs but it gets less fun when you spend most of your time in the healing screen okay understand the last update was relatively good but the healing screen is still big and prevents us from seeing the match going on while healing yeah it is the exact same thing i was talking in my last stream you guys remember i was saying that the healing screen is so big i cannot see where my attack is going what is happening on the screen i cannot see anything so he is talking about the same thing he picked this topic here okay developers are you watching this video so you can do this thing you can make the screen a little bit small you can do something with this update on the healing because this is this is really a big problem this healing one we cannot see what is happening on the screen so try to make the healing screen small okay developers that is what i can tell you let's check the next one Okay this one is coming from my friend and my mod Rayu he is talking something let's see i would like to suggest the addition of hindi language support in the game hindi is the third most spoken language globally and i have noticed that many language have been already included but hindi i understand this by the way i am indian and i myself don't know how to read and write hindi okay so he is talking on some good uh, issue yes there are many topics i, I mean there are many language there in the language part but we cannot see the hindi so it will be really good if they can add the hindi i myself cannot read hindi but uh, there are many indians who can uh, who can write and do everything in hindi so hindi is actually a good uh, addition here rayu is talking on some big topic so developers if you are watching this video please think on this let's check the next one his name is sanes uh, rapnel sanes My suggestion is to have cannon clash more frequently like foundry. I have talked to several players and we all agree that okay I understand this. So he is telling that cannon clash should be in every 2 weeks right? Uh, like every foundry battle. Yeah I was also telling the same thing. Cannon clash can come at least twice in a month so we can have some more fun. That is some big topic here. Developers this is some big topic. You should think on this topic in developer feedback. this is really some big topic and sanesh already talked on this thing in the suggestions 
so canon class can come two time in a month that will be really some good thing also we get the foundry two time in a month canon class can also come and it will be really big fun there let's check the next one in our alliance we use alliance message to send out reminders about events because it allows for more characters than alliance notice when i send out an alliance message it clocks up my personal message it sends out 100 individual dms okay i understand this problem and what he is saying uh, it would be nice uh, to have separate dm where the alliance message go okay he is talking about some separate dm for the alliance message that is also some really big issue yes is it is some big issue and we have to do something on this because if we send the alliance message it will cover our 100 individual message and that is really a big problem his name is geek sas sorry geesas geesas bro you are really talking something on the big topic let's check the next one can we please get better hero shots in the weekly alliance shop at this point in the game and in my current states uh, age no one needs buy these shots okay that is the big topic we always get uh, bahiti shot in the alliance shop why we are still getting bahiti shots we do not need bahiti shots give us our latest generation marksman or anything his name is ragjin sorry ragin ragin bro you are talking on some big topic appreciate you bro yes we do not need bahiti anymore why we need bahiti yes bro you are talking on something big it will be really nice if we get some other latest generation hero shots or anything not bahiti anymore Let's check the next one. Your name is George. What you were saying? Option to watch the battles of the forge of the legion that we did not participate in. Yeah, it is the same thing I talked in like two or three months ago. I want to spectate the battle where I am not participating. And this bro George, he also told the same thing. Yeah, it is also some big topic. There should be some discussion on this. We want to watch the battle which we are not participating. Also in uh, foundry and the cannon clash in both place. In both place we need this update. So bro, you are talking on something big. Yeah, nice bro. Next one, your name is Selim. When I am in a minister title, I cannot get out of this title until someone else comes and takes it. So if I need to take another one, I cannot. So I suggest canceling button. Yeah, it is also really some good thing. Yes, bro, you are telling something good. It is really some good topic. We have to get the cancel button. We cannot always stay in a position forever. Only other person can replace us and they can take the title. That is really bad thing. We need the cancel button. Selim, bro, you are doing some big suggestion. I like it. What is next? Your name is Lil Bake. It would be nice as the R5 to have the ability to move cities. We are trying to get our hive set up and waiting for people to respond or to move is such a hassle. Yeah, it is the exact same thing I was talking from last three four months. I also told this thing in my other video. I told that uh, there should be some update where we can change the position of the alliance member inside the hive if we are R5. So it is the exact same suggestion I am getting here. Your name is Lil Bake and you. said the exact same thing so it is really some good suggestion really some good suggestion r5 should be able to move the cities inside the hive now you can tell me if someone is attacking us r5 can move the player and the attack will fail okay there should be some adjustment with this r5 cannot move the city if there is any attack incoming or anything like this okay so it is also some good suggestion let's check the next one your name is kel c4 okay for the mercenary prestige event it requires a lot of stamina obviously it requires getting some stamina back as reward would help okay that is some big suggestion or reducing the cost to search and kill okay that i understand this it takes lot of stamina it cost the same to hit individual and to run a rally there should be some difference in cost or some gained stamina rewards okay bro you are also telling something big topic i like it bro Yeah, mercenary prestige take lot of stamina. Sometimes in my video I tell that you should not do Intel Lighthouse for one or two day if you want to play the mercenary prestige. So if they reduce the stamina, okay, reducing stamina cost that is not actually proper solution. But this bro told that we can get some stamina in reward. That is the big solution of this problem I can say. Uh, reducing stamina cost is not very good, but we should be able to get some stamina as reward from the event. So bro I like your suggestion I really like it Let's check the next one your name is Ambrosian okay what is your topic 
mercenary event should not be right after SBS. Obviously, you, you said a big thing. We used all of our stamina on beast day in SBS. Now we cannot complete mercenaries when at the higher level such as nightmare and insane. I understand this. I understand this. We are playing the beast slaying day. Then we cannot play the mercenary prestige. I understand this. So you are also telling something big uh, thing here. You are telling us uh, please fix the timing. Please fix the timing so we can move the mercenary prestige to some other week. Okay, I understand this. That is a that is called some suggestion. These are real suggestions. Let's check the next one. It would be nice to make it possible to choose using auto translator or not. I am German and I in a, I, I understand this. Uh, bro, I tell this thing. I, I told this thing many times in my previous videos. There should be some auto translation, but it is not coming. I don't know why. Uh, you are also telling the exact same thing auto translation so that will be really some good thing because if we are playing some big battle and uh, in the mid of the battle we have to click the translation button to do the translation that is really bad we need the auto translation so bro you are telling a big issue here i like it bro your name is riva okay riva these are some suggestions from some other players from the suggestion list i shortlisted them and I showed you the screenshots because it is difficult to find right now. So I already picked some screenshot and I put them here. So these are some really good suggestion. I like it and I don't understand why developer picked such a suggestion for this month. Those only some suggestion and that makes actually no sense. But in this video, I showed you some suggestion from some people. Those are really some big problem in the game and there should be some solution of that problem. So developers, you should think something on these suggestions. Again, I am telling in this video, I do not mean to insult anyone. I tried to keep the video as friendly and I am giving the what I can say. I am I, I am representing the audience. Okay, I am creator and I am representing the audience. I do not mean to insult anyone. So you should think something on this because players will go angry if you if you do not listen to them. If you do not like their suggestion, players will go angry and you understand what I am trying to say. So if you want to make your players happy, you should do proper things in the game. That is what I wanted to say in this video. I wish in next developers feedback, they pick some mature suggestion, not some immature suggestion. They actually pick some big suggestion and the problem and the solution of this problem. That is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and bye bye.